Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to film a really quick intro because I forgot to actually film it in the beginning. So this is a screenshot from my concealer declutter, but you can see all of my powders over to the right of the screen. So that's what I'm starting with. I'm going to declutter loose powders and setting powders today. And if you guys missed any of my previous declutter videos, I will link the playlist in the description box below and let's jump into it. Okay, so let me start with my loose powders and then I will jump into pressed powders. So let's start with the It Cosmetics. This one is called the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro Powder. And at one time I loved this. It was my absolute favorite product in the entire world, but I recently tried it out again and I just didn't like it as much. I think I've just discovered other powders that I like better. So I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit more of a dry powder, which would be good if you have oily skin, but I just don't feel like it looked as good on my skin as some of my other powders. I guess I don't really have a huge reason why I didn't like it. I just know that I have other products that I like better. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. So I do have the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I recently added this to my collection and I am in love with it. I think I might like it even better than the Laura Mercier powder. I feel like it's still early to say because I haven't used it for that long, but I just love how it makes my skin look. It makes my skin look like skin. It's a little bit more hydrating than the Laura Mercier powder, which I didn't think I would actually like, but I feel like it just looks so much better when I use it to bake, when I use it to set my foundation, and honestly, it's been my go-to lately, so I'm definitely going to hang on to this one. So I have my e.l.f. HD Loose Powder, and this one is my favorite from the drugstore. It's just really lightweight on the skin, but it still sets everything into place. The only thing is that it makes such a mess. I don't know what it is about this packaging, but I get it all over the place, but I can overlook it because it is really affordable, so if you're looking for a good drugstore option, I definitely recommend this one. The Laura Mercier powder is just one of my favorite products ever. I feel like it just works so well to set all of my concealer, all of my foundation. It's never given me any problems. It's kind of like my go-to, just the one that I will always hang on to and always use no matter how many other products I try. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. I just got this one from Becca Cosmetics and I haven't tried it out yet. So I have to try it before I decide whether to keep it or declutter it. I've heard some negative reviews about it, so I don't know if I'm going to love it. I do like a lot of their face products, so I kind of just wanted to try it myself before I decided whether or not to declutter it or keep it. Then I have the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder, and I do really like this product, but I feel like I don't end up ever end up using it because I have so many other products that I use over this one. I used it for the longest time, and I definitely think it is a good product, but usually I just use my setting powder to set my under eye concealer as well. I just don't usually like to take that extra step in the morning, so I am going to pass this one along to somebody else. I might end up repurchasing it at one point or another, but for now I'm going to declutter it. Okay, so these are all of my pressed setting powders. I definitely have a few of these that I need to go through and declutter. I already know that I'm going to hang on to the Rimmel London one. So this one is the Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I just got this one recently and I do really like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite product by any means because it's a little bit super lightweight in my opinion, but it's a good setting powder for like everyday makeup. So when I just want something really quick and easy, I'll use this, or if I'm getting a little bit oily throughout the day and I'm at home touching my makeup up, I usually reach for this one. So I am going to hang on to this one for now. I have the Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector, which I love this product so much, but this one is just a little bit too dark for me. It didn't even match me in the summertime. It matched me at one point, but I don't know like where I was getting that tan from because I haven't had it in a really long time and no shades over like the lightest shade match me anymore. It's this really cool putty foundation and it's kind of like a powder, but it's really more of like a medium coverage powder and I love it. So I do wanna end up purchasing, repurchasing it in like a lighter shade and trying it out, but this one is way too dark for me so I have to declutter it. I'm also going to declutter the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I just didn't really like this. I feel like it didn't work well for my oily skin. I think it might work well if you have dry or combo skin because it is a nice powder, but I feel like my skin just got way too oily throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to somebody else. So I have two of the Laura Geller Balance Wait, what are these called? Okay, two of the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brightens. I have the shade Fair and the shade Medium. Medium is way too dark for me because honestly, Fair is a little bit too dark for me too. A lot of you guys told me there's a shade Porcelain, which I did end up picking up, but it's not even in this drawer because I haven't even opened it yet. So I am going to hang on to the light shade for the summertime and then declutter the medium shade because it's just way too dark for me. This is a really nice setting powder if you want to give your foundation a little bit more coverage because it does give you just a good amount of coverage. I would say maybe like 
light to medium. I want to say medium, I guess. My only problem with this is that it is like a swirl of a bunch of different shades. So if you pick up too much of the dark shade, it kind of leaves your skin looking a little bit uneven. But I still end up using it. I've used a good amount of it. I like it because it is a baked product. So I feel like it's really great for oily skin. Okay, I have struggled for so long to decide if I like this product or not. So I feel like if it is such a struggle, I probably just don't really like it. It's just kind of like a mediocre powder in my opinion. It's not great. It's way too dry to use as a setting powder, but it's a little bit too dark to use any, I don't know. I just, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just, I think I don't like it. And I did include it in my products that I want to use up in 2017 video, but I think I'm actually going to end up decluttering it. I'll put a different powder in that video to replace it. But since I can never decide, I think it's just time to go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, so I have a few of the Benefit Hello Flawless powders. So I have Petal, which is too dark for me, so I am going to go ahead and declutter it. And then I have Ivory. This was my favorite powder for a while, and I went through so, so many of them. I feel like it doesn't come with that much product, but I do love the powder. It just gives my skin a really beautiful, soft, matte finish. I think it is technically a powder foundation, so again, if you want a little bit of extra coverage over your liquid foundation, I think this is a great option. I wouldn't use it on its own because I feel like it just doesn't give you a ton of coverage, but if you are into powder foundations, it might be a good option for you. I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter this one too. I know there's a little bit of product left, but I just feel like I've had that one for so long that it's time to go ahead and get rid of it. And honestly, when it gets down to that point, it just crumbles and gets all over the place. So I'm going to hang on to this middle shade. So I'm actually going to end up putting this one in my products that I want to use up in 2017 video in place of the Balm Sexy Mama. So this one is going to go in that video. I'm going to use it up this year. Okay, I decluttered eight and kept seven. So I feel like I did a pretty good job. I'm surprised that I got rid of so many products. Honestly, face products are one of my favorite things to try, but I don't feel like I have an excessive amount in my collection. So I do have room to try a few more and then I think other people will enjoy the products that I ended up decluttering. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.